Well, looks like Moto won the uh, lag. They're not wasting any time here. Yeah, I just got it. You're more than welcome to it. Yeah, this is uh, Moto Evans. Tell you what, guys, uh, as much of a mismatch as people think this might be, it definitely is not. Uh, Moto, Moto can play this game. Yep. Moto's breaking the ball. He's playing Silver Ochoa. This is a race of three hot seat here at uh, Hard Times in Bellflower, California. It's all right, Ash. I think he'll be all right. Now you scratch there. Well, I'll tell you what. That, <laughs> that's not a very good start. No, no. Not at all. He's going to have to look at the stack and see if there's anything, you know. Look at that shot. That was a real nice shot there. Cleared out the whole side of the table. Looks like he broke the balls. See how, see how, easy, see how easy this game is? Oh, yeah. And look at that return. Nice one. No, Steve, it definitely is not the worst thing that can happen, but uh, when you're playing a good player, it's uh, magnified. Looks like Silver took a scratch there, but uh, put him right in the middle of a stack. Good shot. Well, they didn't put a coin up, so maybe uh, he didn't take a scratch. Maybe he came off a ball somewhere I didn't see. Too bad. Just gonna draw off the eight. Oh wow, he played the eight ball that was How'd whole. He How'd he hit it? Wow. Tell you this guy can play this game. We've had a few sparring sessions, and he's uh, beat me up quite a few times. Of course, then I went and jinxed him, but... Oh, I can't believe that he missed that. Uh, I can't believe it either. You know, after coming with that bank shot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now he's back to even. Still has on a pretty tough spot here because he's behind the four. Yeah, he hit that ball real good. Like he elected to come off the 13 and stick him on the side rail.
don't know if he's playing a bank here or what he's doing. I can't quite tell. I'm not sure, really. Yeah, he played the one. I guess he got quite fortunate to double kiss and not sell out there. Tell you what, the rest of these matches are going to be pretty sporty. Uh, these last f four guys in this tournament all play real good. Oh, yeah, for sure. That ball might have come up a little bit. He might have a bank here. Either that or he, he might uh, play the Scott Frost shot off the bottom of the stack. See? He tried it. Oh, what was wrong with that shot? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy's name is... We call him Moto. His name is uh, Larry Evans. He's a local, but he's a, a real strong one pocket player. You uh, you might be able to see him. He works at Disneyland. I'm not sure if he works behind the scenes or uh, out on the uh, out on the on the floor, but uh, he's a pretty cool dude. In fact, he's dressed for work. He's probably going to work after this tournament. That's possible. Yeah, well, uh, there's plenty of players up there to play with, so uh, I'm sure that's where he uh, honed his skills. No, Silver it looks the same as he did when he came in this morning. Oh, he's been back in L.A. for quite a while. Uh, well, Lenny's here with me. This is uh, Chris Fitzgerald, otherwise known as Spanky79. That was a real nice shot. That's going to be trouble. A little bit of an unforced error there. You awake over there, Lenny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ready to get up and move around a little bit. Yeah, I don't blame you there. Yeah, dog, uh, definitely. It's, uh, you know, it's one thing about one pocket. That's all it takes is one shot, and it ruins everything. No, Lenny didn't play. He, uh, he's been too much of stuff, so much to do sitting up here. Yeah. Running the, running the equipment, and I couldn't imagine trying to do both. Yeah, it's a real pain. Uh, what happened was uh, Moto just tried to move a ball and scratched. Now Silver is off to the races here. See how he does. Uh, I think he's uh, he's either going to get out or real close to it. And as I say that, uh. he dogs it. Wasn't exactly the easiest shot in the world, but nah, jacked up. I think, tight he, I think he expected to make it. I have no idea what Moto's doing here. 
Yeah, he's firing at his hole. That's what he's doing. Yeah. I'm actually really surprised to see that. I definitely did not expect him to do that. Well, the worst case scenario is you're at least guaranteed third in this tournament, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, you but know, all this work, you, you, yeah. you want to play your best game. I mean, I'm sure he knows he doesn't want to move with this kid, you know? I mean, you get a shot at your hole, you better shoot. But that was kind of one of those haphazard, you know, cut it down the rail, hope it goes shots. He actually got kind of fortunate. Oh, he's just trying to hide the six there. Six out, yeah. But uh, I don't think he got it. Well, maybe he did. I don't know what he's doing here. Trying to just come over to the other side rail. Oh. I think he tried to double bank it, but it was. It might have been fro. Must have been frozen. Yeah, I don't know what's going I'm on. I'm pretty there. sure he was trying to double bank that ball, but it was must have been frozen. Do you know uh, who this killer's way is? <laughs> Said he, uh, that's all he taught you to <laughs> be able to play these guys? No, he's not confused. Uh, he knew it was the wrong pocket. Uh, he was just trying to double bank that ball, and I think it was frozen. And he, he really didn't look at it, and it kind of came off funny. Yeah, you know, Lenny didn't play because he didn't want to lose any action. Yeah, right. You know, I'll tell you what, if I played, I might gain some action. People see how I play and jump all over me. <laughs> well, either Moto doesn't have any balls or he's not keeping them in the tray for us. minute slow. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes. You start stalling too much and you never get out of it. Yeah, Steve, I don't think he has any. How's things going out there on the East Coast, bud? It's the East Coast. How good can it be? Uh -huh. I wouldn't mind taking a trip out there. Yeah, trip like a trip, one thing, is living there is a different story. Yeah. yeah. I lived in New York my whole life, man. It was pretty brutal. A lot of dealing with the snow and the bad weather and just bad everything. You know, I grew up in Southern California, and it'd be real hard to move anywhere else but maybe, like, you know, Hawaii or an island somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. A lot of suckers in New Jersey, huh, bud? I'll tell you what, I've been in New Jersey once. I was in uh, Parsippany. Went to a couple little pool halls in there, down there, and one in Rockaway, Rockaway Billiards, on the side of a big, side of a big brick, brick uh, I think it was a bowling alley or something. <laughs> and uh, all their tournament boards were written in chalk. And the, and the, name, the biggest name on the board, Ginky. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's left him a, a shot here. I don't know if he's going to take it on or not. Tell you what, that's, uh, you know, if you ever get bored and you want to go do something fun, just travel around in whatever city you stop in. Just grab a phone book and look for a pool hall. And just go check out different pool halls all over the place. It's actually uh, kind of a fun thing to do. You know, when you got time, you're just out doing something or out, you know, happen to be somewhere. Just, you know, just find a new room to go check out. How's everybody else's stream out there? Miles, stop stealing your neighbor's internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
You might have to reboot because uh, I mean we haven't had any jumping. I'm lost. What do you mean, Mike? Yeah, we got that rule. If there's four in the kitchen, the closest one to this rail. That <laughs> I need a phone book. <laughs> yeah, um, you know. Well, these days of cell phones, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't need a cell phone. But uh, I mean, I don't need a phone book. But you know, it's just nice to check out new places once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I do need some medication. I don't know what kind of medication, but I need some. Moto must be uh, taking a, a a break to the restroom and maybe collect his thoughts a little bit, you know? Yeah, who knows? He may be out taking a puff. Guys, we're coming to you live from uh, Hard Times, Bellflower, California. Oh, if it sounds like we're tired, it's because we are. Yeah. <laughs> so, sure. uh, you know, if it goes silent for a little while, it's because we might have dozed off. <laughs> uh -huh. Not a bad time, I guess, for you guys to check out our sponsors until he gets back. Yeah, why not? Go. guys that was a quick little break there uh, who's left well there's only four players left actually you got uh, these two guys Moto and uh, Silver playing for the hot seat and uh, you got Morrow down there playing Jimmy for third fourth Well, I can't answer you, Killer's Way, if you don't have a stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Can you hear us? <laughs> no stream for you, man. What is great about California? Well, the weather, for one. Some of the women. A lot of the food. But traffic and uh, taxes suck, so, you know, you give and take a little, I guess. Hey, we're going to mute the audio for a second. Alright guys, we're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, Mike, unfortunately right now I'm still part of that 10%, so I understand. Um, 
I don't remember Silver ever even being down tomorrow. But yes, he did beat Morrow. Oh. Looks like it's one nothing Silver. Silver takes the first game. Yeah, enough about bashing on California, all right? <laughs> well, he's gonna he's gonna make the uh, 15 out of there and probably stop his cue ball. Six is a blocker. Might come off the um, eight. Any big names in this tournament? Well, you're watching one of them, uh, Mr. Silver Ochoa. He's the only pro level player we have. 2010 Derby City he took second place to uh, Mr. Scott Frost. And he had, he was up four to negative one in that Hill Hill game. I still can't Isn't believe he sick? lost that game. Now, now what, what are the odds if he's up four to negative one of losing the game? You um, know, if you, what kind of odds are Pretty getting? sick. Yeah. If you're betting, if you're sitting next to somebody at the Derby, you're like, oh, I'm going to take Frost here. <laughs> yeah, I think I might unload there if I uh, had yeah. that chance. Yeah. You know, but you'd have to give odds on the money, obviously. Of course. But you're going to give some pretty good odds on that. Yeah, IOUs for tax, return, tax returns are great. this ball and freeze him on the stack. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what he did. Silver seems uh, clearly in control here, you know. Yeah, he, does, he doesn't seem to be uh, ever in trouble in no. this match. Good shot. He's just going to come off this ball and on the stack again. Well, yeah, I guess Moro would be a big name to a lot of other people. I, I grew up here, so uh, I've known Moro for so many years, I don't even think of him as a big yeah, name anymore, but well, he's definitely a big Mor name. Moro and uh, Parika. Oh, you know, I'm you know, sorry. I I forgot all about Perica. Yeah, he he was, uh, you know, he did well. I, I thought I thought he would have uh, been, you know, at least in the top three in this tournament, finished top three. But yeah, well, race to three, you know, just about yeah. anything can happen. Yeah, he did. Yeah, King Kong played. He. uh... Got into his share of arguments, and uh, I don't think he quite cast, though. Oh, well, he left him uh, a shot here. Le leaves him a shot, but I tell you what, he better make it. If not, he's off to the races. Again, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, this table is four inch pockets. Well, well at least he uh, he that's did tight. put the cue ball on the spot where if he missed the ball, he didn't sell out. So.
Well, looks like uh, Silver put Larry in another tough spot here. I can't quite tell if he can roll and just make the 12 ball here or not. On the screen here, it looks like he can. So I'm trying to figure out. I think he's just trying to not to leave a bank on the one. Jimmy and Morrow down there getting into it, trying to figure out what's going on with the score. Wow. I, I was looking up, listening to the argument. Yeah. I missed what happened. But Me too. Obviously, it was a great shot. Yeah, three tables down, you know. Three tables down, I we were looking at listening to an argument. I have to watch it on the uh, rerun. Yeah, I have to go home and watch it. Mm -hmm. What is this? <laughs> For those of you who know Moro, you'll know what that uh, that's all about. Tell you what, Larry's not out of the trap yet. No, not at all. Uh oh. Wow. If this 12 ball goes, that's going to hurt. See, he could have banked the uh, three over and put his cue ball behind the deuce. That would have been another option, too. Yeah, I like the shot he shot. shot. Yeah, I just didn't expect him to go all decent, the way around you know, it that way. But the other shot gave him a little sure. strength over there. He has nothing. Well. So he's going to bank the three ball Yeah, now. for sure. And uh, if he wants to, he's thinking about juicing up here. Lenny uh, Killer is asking if you've ever heard of Neptune Joe. Well, that sounds familiar. Sounds real familiar, actually. You've been robbing, or has he been robbing you? <laughs> well, he had a bank of six. Instead. Yeah, that's a great shot. I didn't even think he was banking the way the three ball was. Uh, Hawaiian Jimmy and Moro Paez. Three. I uh, hit that ball real good. There are uh, a couple tables down there. They're playing. You can see them right now. He needs five from here. And uh, he hit that ball pretty bad, actually. Let's cut it right into the rail. You're welcome. <laughs> looks like, uh, Trigger, it looks like your uh, feed might be a little behind. He, he responded with wow about uh, 20 seconds after he made, missed that ball. Maybe you want to refresh after it this. Might, it, uh, might, it could be on our end too. It might be going. Yeah, it might be on our end. Yeah. Either that, or you might want to refresh sure after this. Uh, since noon. After this game. You know what? I honestly don't remember who beat Perica. I think it was. Uh, I know Nick Spano beat him the, on the winner's side. And on the loser side, it might have been Al.
Okay. Yes, it definitely was. Who's picking on her? Mike, are you watching a different stream? <laughs> uh, Moto's a local guy. He's uh, one of the better one-pocket players in the area. I was. What are you talking about? I was just telling her that her uh, stream might be behind. I was trying to help her. how he hits this ball. Oh, boy. Yeah, Larry Evans is his name. Huh? Blocked his back what, on Mike, five. Silver got a little fortunate there. Mike, do me a favor and try to ban me and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I think I did jinx him. But uh, he did get fortunate not to leave uh, Moto of the Bank on the five ball. Yeah, I said it already. They're four-inch pockets. <laughs> About a million times. I'm going to put it in the header so you guys know. Four-inch pockets. They're tight. <laughs> About as tight as uh, table 13 at Colby's. You know that table. Is it break time again? What's going on here? Yeah, they're both taking a break. Yeah. Now Silver's taking a break. Yep. All right, time to run a commercial, guys, right, while we have the time. time. Take a break for <laughs> us, too. Guys, we're back. Yeah. We're back, and uh, Silver just got back, and we're just waiting for uh, Moto.
call back this number or if you want to sure. get a hold of me. If not, uh, <laughs> I'm going to hang out here. <laughs> See you later. If not, I'm going to be here. Yeah, Jim Galati played in it. He's the only person from Arizona that did. Uh, they right. don't have a dress code for this tournament that I know of. I mean, <laughs> well, if they have one, they didn't yeah. enforce it. No. Put it that way. You know, there's supposed to be a players' meeting, and I don't think they had one of those either. So, Jim Galati, he's a. Uh, I, I know. I think he uh, rolls with San Jose Dick a little bit. He kind of plays with him, so he can play pretty good. He he plays the squeeze game a lot. Buy the DVD and find out who won. Yeah, actually, we're not even. You can't even get that DVD anymore. Uh, if you want Scott Ver Frost for Seth and Ray's, you'll have to go to uh, AccuStats. But actually, uh, if you really want to know, Scott won. He doesn't realize that you can, uh, I think you can get it on YouTube. Oh, I mean, of course, it's Efren and Scott. How can it not be a good DVD? Unless you're betting on the other side, then it sucks, but... Yeah, uh, warehouse. I don't know if I would have lost all my money, but I would have lost some money. That's for sure. Um, you know, Scott had a good day. Efren didn't play his best, and uh, you know, got to give it to him. Thanks, bud. Sure. They going or not? Huh? Are they going or not? 
Yeah, my son is taking a shower or something. I guess I went to the beach or something. I don't know where they're going to go to watch fireworks. I have no idea. Are you going to join them? Yeah, I'm going to cool. go. Cool. Maybe get some food, fireworks, and then I'll come back here. Why not? I think I should be back here before it's over. I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's going to be over before 11. Unless something happens real quick. Yeah, I don't unless know. silver starts. I, mean, like I don't, I don't see anybody three, splitting, three. I'll tell you yeah. that. No. No, well, they left him a shot. No, he didn't move to Cali. He's still out in uh, Arizona. Uh, Bellflower is, uh, I don't know, what, are you, 10 minutes from L.A.? <laughs> that. I mean, we're right in the middle of everything. Um, let's see, Long Beach is five minutes down the road. Carson's five minutes down the road. Um, Commerce is five minutes down the road. So we're in that general area. Oh, yeah, definitely. Beer sounds good, but I've been drinking uh, Gatorades. Um, oh, it's uh, west. Oh, excuse me, yes, east of L.A., I'm sorry. Look at this, he's going to get on the 14. Shot was overcut. Yeah, and that, and that table keeps them keeps it to the right a lot. Yes, it you does. know, in that pocket. So he didn't hit it terribly. Don't tell me he's gonna go. He's gonna move this ball. The pocket move. <laughs> yeah, it did. Jay's gonna try to get him to put the balls in the tray so we can see what the score is. Looks like Moto has three. Yeah. Silver needs two then, huh? Uh, I guess that puts Silver at... I think he needs three, doesn't he? Am I counting him wrong? Uh, no, I think you're right. I think I counted him wrong. Wow, that was a nice shot. I just got to remember that 15 comes up here. Spot the 15 ball and uh, believe he needs two. Yeah, the score is six to three. And Silver's up one game to nothing. All he's gonna, all he can do is just take this ball out. We got half of Texas in the chat here. Yeah, right. Definitely didn't want to make that ball. No. Not in that hole, at least. We left him a bank, and it's, uh, I think Moto's going to make this. Cash customer? Who uses cash anymore?
Yeah, ten balls got to get spotted up. Well, it should actually have been done now, but if they agree on it, then uh, I don't see yeah. any arguments. Yeah, they agreed upon it, but... Uh Good shot there. He had a great shot there. You know. Shot from Silver. We're gonna have a bank on the uh, 13 here. LA Rams. Wow, that's way back. I don't think we'd want to see any of the LA Rams cheerleaders in here now. Yeah, right. The IQ man, it does roll off a little. It rolls in on the left pocket. We have Ash and uh, Melinda as our cheerleaders. That's all we need. Quite fortunate not to scratch there. They left him shot. Left him shot. There's actually four left in the tournament. Yeah. Morrow and Hawaii and Jimmy down here in this match right here are the, the final four. Well, you have a safe night, and uh, thanks for watching. Hey, later, man. Have a good one. Actually, uh, these front two tables uh, side by side are about four inches, and the rest of them are about four and a quarter, so there's not much bigger. There's our first what is these from Mr. Morrow. I'll tell you what, that's uh, probably a suicide shot there. Well, it depends on who you are. Um, if you're a guy like Jimmy who plays on this ta table on a daily basis, it's actually a good thing for you. Oh, here's a chance for Moto to get back in this. Yes, definitely. Uh, two, three. Looks like he needs them all, so uh, you better do something. He's gonna bank the 11 here. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. Tell you what, he usually hits his shot pretty good too. Well, 
I guess he didn't have the bank, he just decided to drive it out of there. <laughs> Silver's getting ready to bank that ball. <laughs> took, the, took his shot away. Hmm. It's going to come back up. 11 back up now. It's warning you, they're going to yell at you. Looks like Silver gave him another shot. Uh, the rule is uh, once there are more than three balls past the head string, the fourth ball that's closest to the rail must be spotted immediately. Excuse me, it's closest to the in rail, not head string. Excuse me. Well, we got a chance here. Oh, he definitely has a chance here. I mean, he's going to have to take that ball out or scratch or something. Uh, I think he needs to follow it in, but I, he might be able to take it out from here. I can't see the angle. tight pocket. Uh, he might be able to he's move it. He's looking like he's taking it out. Yeah. Yeah. Where are the cue so balls going? If he gets him back there, that's a nice shot. Yeah, it is. Good shot. I put a guy like this one time, he needed one, and I had a ball by my pocket hanging in the hole, and he banked this ball in on me. A million yeah, miles like an that's hour. That's what he's trying to do right now, but now he's not going to hit it that hard. That's actually a real nice shot, and he didn't cut it. Uh, now he's the, still got to take that 15 out. Yeah. His pockets are so tight. If he shoots a 7, he's not a favorite to make it. No, it's a, this is a tough shot. He's going to have to move the ball. from over. Oh, yeah. If he makes, he makes this, this, yeah, he makes it bang, he can win the game. Definitely. Oh, he's got to move the sub ball here. <laughs> no, Varner definitely uh, wouldn't have liked this rule at all. Tied up those two balls over there. It's no good for uh, Moto. No, not at all. Uh, if, if he had the angle to make the 11 here uh, with the 15, he, that would be a great shot. So you can spot one and you can break them up, but the 11 doesn't go. I'm going to put it on his side all you can do. That's all you can do. I'm going to give up some kind of weird two-railer here, but I don't think he's going to shoot anything. I think he's just going to cross this ball. He looked, at, he looked to see if the 15 went. So maybe he is going to shoot the two-railer. Cut at one rail. Well, the 15 definitely doesn't go then if he shot that. He did. He did leave a bank. Oh, 
Actually hit a little high. Mm, all you can do is move all you can do is move that ball now. Trigger, what shot doesn't he like? That's what I wanna know. Wow, look at this brain. Well, I guess he decided to kick it instead. I actually pulled that shot off on this table on a guy. It was a little closer to the uh, opposite pocket. Yeah. But uh, I needed one and I I hit that shot and drained it on him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh the sick part was is I was down seven nothing that game. Wow. And I came back and I won it with that shot. <laughs> he almost unscrewed. Mm -hmm. I tried it again. It didn't hit it very good. Wow. I thought he might play a three railer there. But, uh, oh, hit the one railer. If you hit a one railer like that, then uh, then why do anything else? Uh oh. No, Mike. Uh, he hasn't, danger, hit, he danger. hasn't hit me up for a game yet. I think he wants to wait till I'm done with the commentary and then ask for a game. I, I <laughs> didn't even bring my cue. Yeah, yeah Trey. It's definitely not his favorite shot anymore. Not after that. He's uh, he's he let Moto right back in this game. If he cuts this 11 ball in, he's got a bank bank for the bank for the game. Shot. Are you gonna stiff this ball? Uh, I think he kind of has to. Yeah, watch, watch it doesn't sell out. I always kick it in. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that ball's How'd not he hit it? How'd he hit it? Uh, not good enough. Not good enough. Oh, we got a, we got a game now. No, you better battle. believe we have a game now. Actually, Mike, he really didn't bring nah, his cue. <laughs> I didn't plan on playing any pool, just stream and uh, hang out with I my get, family. If I get the right game, I have a cue you can borrow, but... Yeah, I'll take 9-7. I bet you will. <laughs> hit that one real good. That was a good hit. Nothing like getting beat with your own cue, huh? <laughs> you gave me a, you uh -oh. gave me. Well, wow. What a comeback. Moto came back and won that game. Oh, one to one. Those of you guys that don't think he can play. And it's his break. That was huge. Got a new game now. Mike let me borrow his uh, Muchi. <laughs> I, beat him with, I beat him with his own Muchi. going on down there. I don't know if that match is over. I uh, heard some clapping. Uh, I think Morrow won. It looks that way. Yeah. yeah you know, when Jimmy's not happy, he kind of just disappears. So uh, I think he packed up his cue and left already. Uh-oh. New ball game, boys. I made a ball there on the break. I've seen that. I've seen that happen twice in the tournament. Not too bad for all the games that's been played. Well, Moda's going to show you how you can play this game. You know what, uh, Mickle? He's trying, but he's—he always has that look on his face, like he just doesn't care. 
You know he does, but he just he looks bored. Yeah, if, if he shoots again, no kidding. Might be shooting the next game. Yeah, probably the next game. He's gonna bump into the seven ball here. Best defense is eight and out. Like he needs one. Yeah. Oh, wow. it, was, it was almost a breaking out. Yeah, it would have been oh the first boy. eight and out I've seen all a uh, whole tournament. It would have been a breaking out too. <laughs> yes, true. Break. You know. How you doing, Sacktown? Kind of like uh, Moto's chances of winning this game. Yeah. What's up, Tom? How you doing, bud? I don't know how much the prize fund is for the total for this tournament, but it's um, pretty decent. Well, we had 32 players, and they added 1,000, so uh, if they didn't take anything out, then... Well, I think uh, they took out... I think there's a f $15 per player. Is that what it was? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see exactly so what it was. Times but uh, I do know okay. first place is $800. So twenty nine twenty is the prize fund, I think. Something like that. A little over 2900 well, you can figure 20. it out. They paid, uh, I know they paid 800 for first, and they paid uh, 250 for fifth, sixth, I believe, and 150 for uh, seventh, eighth. So, uh, and the in-between numbers I'm not exactly sure of, but uh, it's around three grand, something like that. Yeah. He made that shot. Would have been a spectacular a shot. shot. Yeah. It would have been huge. He would have probably oh, he would have ran a ton out. of damage. <laughs> you can tell he's paying a little more attention now. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not going and looking on his phone. He's just uh, sitting down looking at the table. Appreciate all you guys tuning in to on the rail TV .com. Still got pl a few more matches. Uh, two more after this. Yeah. Um, the loser's gonna face Moro. And this and match. This guy's uh, gonna move on to the hot seat. This match might here. go till you know almost nine o'clock if we play another game. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna have you know another race at three and then a race to four. So uh, it's gonna be a long night. Oh yeah, for sure. And a morning for some of you East Coasters. But tomorrow, I don't think anybody has to work, do they?
Yeah, I know, potluck. It's a four-letter word. Well, I know I don't, unfortunately. I'd like one. take out there. Yeah, it was a nice hit. If you don't hit it good, you scratch, you know. Well, this is going to be a moving game for sure. <laughs> Did you bring that one with you? <laughs> I found it. How many people you got to watch? Spot a few. There you go. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you got that little, you got that jab stroke and everything. Oh, but this guy beats a lot of good players. I've been telling people all day. Look out for him. Well, he's been beating people in California for 100 years. <laughs> you got that right. Good players. See how he dressed. Nobody knows he's he, first time he come in my pool and I don't know who the guy was. <laughs> just, and I'm playing all I'm playing all these black guys in my yeah. pool, room, right? Because yeah. I got a pool in Inglewood. This is about five, six years ago. Seven years ago he comes in my pool. Room. Says, yeah. uh, you wanna play? I said, Yeah, I'll play. Will you play yeah. I said, okay. Because you know, black pool. Yeah. Most of my customers are black. Yeah. They play one pot. Yeah. I said, I'll play you one pot. I said, how about fifty a game? Now usually they don't start right up. I can't play football. He beat me four games so fast. I don't think I ever got to three. He just killed me. And then, and then he says, I quit. He says, you want a ball? I said, no, I don't want a ball. He says, you want two balls? I said, no, I don't want to play you no more. But the funny thing is, that was in the afternoon. Now he hangs around my pool room. And at night, he starts talking. People say, oh, he played in, blah, 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 blah. And he starts talking to me again. And about playing, I said, no, I don't want to play you. I said, listen, I said, I'll play you. Short rag banks for 50 a game. And I beat him four games. I beat this guy playing banks. We never played since then. And somebody, the best compliment I had all the years I owned that pool, somebody said, said, well, Jay just beat the king of the ghetto. And another guy says, now Jay is the king of the ghetto. That's what they call it. That's funny. I'll tell you I what. Like, uh, <laughs> looks like Moto's got some confidence here. He's uh, firing balls in from everywhere. Friends ever since. Uh,
see what uh, Silver does here. I gotta do something. Uh, Moto's looking strong. Very good hit. Not good enough. this ball I like him banking this ball here the uh, 12 ball if he doesn't want to bank the three Tell you what, uh, Moto has definitely got Silver's attention here. Wow, Jim. what a shot that was, huh? shot. Moto's going to shoot the deuce here. Shoot the two and he ain't going to leave nothing. Looks like he's going to the center of the hole too. Nice shot. He, I think Scott, if he didn't ever play this guy, didn't know he was. Yeah, I, yeah right out of the gate, probably give him two, two balls, if not more. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that'd be know, a tough game. Yeah, it wouldn't, he would be <laughs> robbing them. This guy plays pretty good. And you and you wonder why he uh, likes sparring with me for ten a game. No, oh, yeah, probably out of the field day. <laughs> of course. Probably play all you want for ten. Exactly. <laughs> oh, he hits me up every time I come in here. Oh, you want nine eight? Uh, uh, yeah, he did a couple times, but I tell you what, uh, more like ten six. Yeah. I see. Oh, Moto's on five. Moto needs three from here. There's one. I'm going to set up for the bank here. Two. Oh, I needed two. Well, Moto's in the hot seat. Mm. Looks like uh, we got Moro and Silver Ochoa coming right at you. Crowd came alive there, huh? I'm telling you. <laughs> tell, tell me who the hometown boy is. That's going to be a long night. Oh, yeah. I believe it. I'll tell you right.